What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Tonight we're going to talk about something that's been delved into quite a bit on social media in the last week. And um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't make a, a video about it because I was just kind of sitting back watching what everybody else was saying. And I'm truly interested in what people have to say and what they think about um, this topic. So, Tess Holiday, I believe her name is. Now, no idea who this girl was. I don't know if she's a model beforehand or if she was just picked to be on Cosmo. I don't really know the backstory. So all I know is the picture popped up on like Instagram and social media and what came along with it was a, I guess a variance of opinions as to whether or not this lady, this woman, this individual, this girl, I think she's a woman. I don't know if she's transgender. Like there, there's a whole lot, a lot of shit I don't know. But basically because she's heavy, obese, overweight, whatever the case may be, that's what people are flipping their shit about. Not the fact that like She's on the cover of Cosmo, or maybe she never was a model. It's just basically about her weight. She's a heavier girl, woman, and she's on the cover of Cosmo. And some people think, in their own personal opinions, that it's sending the wrong message to young girls. Just like if you put an anorexic girl on the thing, it would be sending the wrong message to young girls that, you know, basically this is body dysmorphia. Like, you know, even though you're not anorexic and you have, like, your brittle bones and shit because you're starving yourself, it's the opposite, right? You bulked yourself up to the point where your body's technically not healthy. Now, my opinion is, who gives a fuck? Who gives a rat's fucking ass how heavy this girl is? I don't give a fuck. It does not make a difference. Like, when I got up that morning, it didn't make a difference whether that girl was on the cover. When I went to bed that night, it didn't fucking make a difference whether that girl went on the cover. Matter of fact, today, it doesn't make a fucking difference if that girl went on the cover. And to get the fact that people go... Oh, Jerry, but you don't understand. Like, first of all, Cosmo's not a fucking health magazine, okay? So get off of it, right? It's not a fitness magazine. It's not a health. It's a fucking woman's magazine. I think guys read it too, but whatever. Anyways, it's just a magazine, like, almost like an entertainment, like, articles. It's not even, like, fucking, I mean, it's not a real thing, okay? It's fucking kind of a joke, right? Cosmo has those quizzes about how to deal with your husband. Like, none of that shit's fucking real. You can't do any of that shit. Your husband will divorce you in fucking two seconds, right? So it's kind of almost like a fucking tabloid, in my personal opinion, with shit that fucking is soap opera based in a magazine. I mean, that's what it is, right? Let's face fucking facts. So they put this girl on there. Now, here's the problem I have with all the people that are okay with it, right? So, these, oh, this is the best thing. This is the greatest thing. Honestly, are you really thinking that? Or are you just saying that to go against the grain? Because everybody else right out of the gate was saying that it's fucking a bad idea. Like, it's bad. You shouldn't put the girl on... You know, I always wonder who's truly speaking from the heart and who's just trying to buck authority and go the opposite direction. So, not really sure about people who think it's good. My thing is, I'm indifferent. I don't give a fuck, right? Now, the people saying it's bad, those are the ones that I would like to talk to right now. Now, a lot of people are like, Jerry, you make fun of fat people. Time out. I do not make fun of fat people. Just like I don't make fun of people that are fucking cross-eyed or have one leg, right? I talk about people that I specifically come into contact throughout the day who... Try to glamorize being fat. Okay, now we like Joe. It's it's kind of hard to explain now. Glamorizing it because of the fact that they feel like they don't have a choice, so they kind of just dig in and say this is the way it's going to be. But they do have a choice, and I want them to know that they have a choice. And you don't call them, you know, like when I say they're fat, they're carrying too much body fat. It's a it's a description, right? I don't call myself follically challenged because I don't have fucking hair. You know what I mean? I'm fucking bald. That is a descriptive word that I use to describe myself. I'm bald. I'm not follically challenged. Just like this person is not clinically over... No, you're fucking fat. Okay, that's all it is. So when I say that, so I'm not making fun of it. Using a descriptive word to get your fucking attention, hopefully the fat person's attention, to let them know you don't have to be like that if you don't want to be. Because I'd say 99% of the time, the people that are heavy just feel like they... And it's the same shit out of their mouth. Oh, I've always been this way ever since I was a kid. I just started gaining weight. I couldn't stop. This is just my genetics. It's this, it's that. I had one girl I knew who called herself Big Bone. Her wrists were like this fucking big. Okay, her bones were not big. She was fucking fat. And she would argue that she's a big girl. And I'm like, look, before you got fucking fat, you weren't big and your bones have not grown. You know what I mean? Like, so it's, it's not to make fun of fat people. It's not to make fun of people that are overweight. It's to get some fucking, get them to pay attention to what the fuck is going on around them. Because people are so emotional. Unless you get them to fucking react emotionally, they don't fucking listen to you. Now, that being said, the girl on this cover, right? I don't know why you guys are so fucking worried about the example. Like, oh, she's setting a bad example. Here's the deal. The only example she's setting is for people that were already going to be fat to be fucking fat. There isn't a goddamn skinny little girl out there who looks like fucking Barbie in the entire world that 
was into working out and into fitness and into fucking looking a certain way and she loved it and is going to see that fucking cover for one second and be like, I want to do that. Not one of those fucking girls. The ones that are going to follow suit and love the fact that she's on there and love the fact that they chose somebody to tell you are either already fucking fat, B, genetically feel like they're fucked, or lazy fucking slobs who can't stop fucking eating. And you know what? All those people are going to be fat anyways. So let them fucking be fat. Who gives a shit? What do you give a fuck? Like everybody's talking about, like, if you're a kid, if you're worried about your kid looking at that magazine cover and saying, I want to be like her, well, that falls on you, not her, right? It's not Cosmo. It's not, like, you can't force someone. You can say, well, put the idea in their head. Trust me, that idea is already in their fucking head, okay? It's in, if it's not this girl in the magazine that triggers it and says it's okay, it's going to be somewhere else, okay? Because that's the day we live in. We live in 2018 where fucking anybody can rationalize fucking anything and make it okay because they don't want to be uncomfortable by trying to diet or they don't want to face the facts that some people can eat ice cream and say skinny and some people fucking can't. Like they don't want to face the facts that they feel like if someone eats ice cream and is skinny, they're better than them. They have a leg up on them. They're better as far as their genetics. They, nobody wants to feel not as good as somebody else. So there's a whole fucking group of people out there right now that are going to look at Tess Holiday and say, she's one of us and she made it. That's amazing. Why can't you just let those fucking people have that? I'm like, you know what? Here's the deal. Like, the people that are speaking out that are proud of Tess Holiday being on there, they don't give a fuck about their health. They obviously, they honestly don't. They don't give a shit about health and fitness. They don't fucking care. Like, the doctor will look right in the eye and be like, look, you can't keep this up. They're like, okay, cool. And they leave and go eat hamburgers. That, that's what they do. But they give a fuck when the bad shit starts to happen. When the cholesterol clogs their arteries, they have a heart attack, they have a fucking aneurysm, they have fucking something that they got type 2 diabetes, then they start, oh, well, now they start caring about it, right? But up until then, they don't give a fuck. All they care about is not having to work hard to not be fat. Nobody wants to work hard every day of their fucking life to get something that other people sit on their fucking ass for and don't have to do anything for. Like, it sucks. It makes you feel like less of a person, like you're not as good as the other people, and you have to try harder than them. You know, but that's just a fucking fact. That's how life is. There's going to be fucking skinny people eating ice cream that can't fucking add 4 plus 4. You know what I mean? They're going to have to work really hard at that, where somebody else can add 4 plus 4, but they can't eat ice cream and they get fat. Like, it blows my fucking mind. Like, I honestly think you people, and when I say you people, I mean everybody who's fucking arguing about this. I don't give a fuck what country you're in, what race you're in. I don't give a fuck whether you're male or female. I don't give a fuck, right? Why the fuck do you just not concern yourself with yourself? Period. Cosmo put the fucking picture up. It's done. Done deal. If you don't like Cosmo anymore, don't buy the fucking magazine. But arguing and trying to fucking get people to ban, like, to boycott Cosmo and ban fucking, you know, putting Cosmo in doctor's offices and shit because it's not healthy and it's giving them... Like, what the fuck? Who do you people think you are? Everybody thinks, like, we're going to rally and we're going to go out in there and we're going to fucking march and we're going to take over the world. Nobody gives a fuck. Cosmo don't give a fuck. Tess Holiday don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. What happens is you wind up sitting around stressing yourself out looking like an asshole and fucking wasting some of your precious time that you can't get back arguing about some girl on fucking Cosmo and it's not your fucking decision to put it on there. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I don't, I, I, I can't, guys. I cannot sit back and listen to the fucking bullshit that goes on on a daily basis where people are so fucking concerned with their own opinions and people not agreeing with their opinions that they will fucking fight online all fucking day. They will put up posts for weeks, if not months, arguing about why they're right and everyone else is wrong. And I'm like, why don't you just not give a fuck and do your own thing? Why don't you just say, hey, man, I'm into fitness, so I'm not going to put the poster of Tess Holiday on my refrigerator and want to be like that. But I'm going to still read Cosmo because I like it. Oh, fucking well. It's like the Colin Kaepernick thing. People always say, Jared, what do you think? I don't fucking care what is going on over there. Like, I don't give a fuck. Colin Kaepernick fucking does not affect my life one fucking bit. Do I have an opinion on it? I haven't stopped to think about it. Why? Because it doesn't affect my fucking life. I go out there and treat every individual the same. Whether they're black, white, Hispanic, that is my responsibility. The way other people act, the way other people think, and their opinions, that is their fucking responsibility. Not yours, not mine, not anyone else's. So therefore, I do what is my responsibility, which, guess what? If everybody did what was their responsibility and stopped fucking around with this other shit, the world would be a much fucking better place. But no, we have to argue. We have to try to force people to see our way. We have to try to force them into forgetting how they think and what they like. We need them to come on board with us because that's the right way. 
Well, bottom line is there's a hundred fucking right ways. And yours is one of them. So for your reality, your way is the right way. So fucking just live with it. Just live with what the fuck your reality is. I can't tell you how much better I feel, how much better off I am, how much better off my life got when I stopped fucking comparing myself to anyone out there, stopped living, listening to everyone else's opinions unless I wanted it. If I had a question about something, I was like, hey, what do you think about this? I'm asking that person whom I trust to give me an honest answer about what they think. But I'm not going to get online and pull up the fucking news. Or I'm not going to get on Facebook and start looking at all these fucking things and listen to people arguing. And fuck. It doesn't make any fucking sense. You think Tess Holiday right now? She's becoming a bigger star from you assholes yelling about her. Like, it makes no fucking sense. Like, let her do what the fuck she's going to do. Let Cosmo do what the fuck they're going to do. And then you do what the fuck you want to do, okay? Period. And in the end, everybody's going to fucking be happy. Because if they're not, it's on you, not them. In the end, if you're... So that's another thing. Like, that's another thing mentally that people are so concerned. And so they want to be fucked up and upset and angry so bad that they can't just do their own thing because then they're responsible. If you're doing your own thing and you're fucked up and you're upset and you're sad and you're depressed, that's on you because you fucked something up. Okay, that's your lifestyle you're living. That's your decisions you make. However, if they can get mad at Tess Holiday and they can get mad at Cosmo, they can keep that negative energy going. They can keep those negative thoughts. They can keep the bullshit. They can keep the fucking, you know, the thing that they crave the most, which is negative attention. They can keep that going because you know why? Oh, Tess Holiday is fucking making everybody fat. Tess Holiday and Cosmo have not made one more person fat in this entire fucking globe than they did before the fucking goddamn thing was released, before the thing was dropped, before the fucking uh, the cover came out, not one more person said, you know what, I don't like fitness anymore, I'm tired of my six pack, fuck it, let's roll, let's fucking do this, let's just go eat butter. Not one fucking person has done that. You know what has happened? Is people have said, that's how she likes to be? If she really likes to be like that, who the fuck am I? Okay, cool, you know, knock yourself out. You know, if you truly are happy with yourself, you know what happens? You wind up on the cover of a fucking magazine. And if you're truly a miserable prick, like many of the people out there, you know what happens? You wind up sitting on the internet, arguing with other people about the person that got put in the fucking magazine. Do you see anything wrong with this? I do. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com. The blog is live and let live bicep, and we are out.